today's video, we're going to use ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini to create a Need for Speed clone game. But this time, instead of putting all of those LLMs against each other, I'll be using all of them to create the game. But there's gotta be a rule. I will only use a single prompt for each of the following models. So I gotta be very strategic about all of this. So I do know that ChatGPT is very good at starting a project. So I'll be using GPT 5.2 first. And then after that, I will use Gemini 3 Pro to create the user interface. And then for fixing bugs or issues, I will use the rest of the models. So I'm going to start by creating a prompt. We'll just ask ChatGPT, write me a prompt to clone a need for speed game. So let's start with this one. All right, so now it's writing, create a third person arcade street racing game inspired by the classic need for speed. So we have the following core gameplay. This looks good. We have AI opponents, a minimum of five. AI drivers must follow the track using waypoints or splines and adjust speed based on turn sharpness. Interesting. So it's not really an AI, it's just a um, scripted AI. Okay, so I want to make sure that we use 3JS. Maybe in the future, I will make a video using Unity or Unreal. Well, let me know in the comments below if you want to see something like that. But for now, I will use 3JS. So we can just go back to Cursor and literally just paste the prompt here. And let's make sure that we use GPT 5.2 first and we'll just send it. Here we go. This is it, boys. So I have used all of my included usage and this time I'll be paying as I go. It's not gonna be good. Hopefully this video is gonna do well. So guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and like this video. All right, so here is Need for Speed created by ChatGPT 5.2. And by the looks of it, there are errors. Yes, there are. Of course, we can no longer use ChatGPT 5.2. So what we're going to do is disable ChatGPT 5.2. We can finally get rid of that and instead of using GPT 5.2, we can pick something else like let's use Grok code because this is the worst model out of everything. Okay, so here's whoa, what was that? What what is going on? <laughs> Holy sh oh whoa! What the hell just happened? <laughs> Holy shit, look at my speed, it's 10,314 kilometers per Yo, the thing is, I'm not even pressing anything. It's already moving on its own. Hold on. Let me try to... Oh, holy shit. What the heck? We can no longer use Grok codes. We can just disable this. And this time we're going to use... Uh, this is hard. Okay, I'm going to use GPT 5.1 Codex Max, okay? I'm going to save Opus for last. Okay, so we don't have errors in the console, so what we can do is instead of describing what we see in the game, we can just zip the entire source code and attach the zip file in this prompt. And we'll just ask ChatGPT to give us a better prompt that we can use in Cursor. All right, so now ChatGPT is scanning the entire source code. All right, so now the prompt is ready. We can use this. Let's just take a look at it. So the goal is stabilize the physics and vehicle control so the player never explodes. No 10,000 kilometer per hour. Player car does not move on its own when idle. Player can reverse reliably, hold S or down to reverse, not break weirdly. AI cars drive on the track, no fly. <laughs> All right, so let's see if this will work. I'm going to copy this and then go back to cursor and I'll just paste it here. And we can finally disable GPT 5.1 Codex Max. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm feeling extremely nervous because that was not a good start. ChatGPT did not create a good game, Grok did not solve a problem, in fact it just made everything worse, so I'm quite scared that this game will not turn out fine. Okay, so now it's done, we can just go back to the game. Oh no, it just gave us another error. This is not good. Looks like we're gonna have to copy this and we don't have a choice, we can't test it either. There's nothing on screen. Which model should I use? Opus 4.5, Sonnet 4.5, or Gemini 3 Pro. This is gonna be a difficult choice. Okay, I'll pick Sonnet 4.5. Because I know Opus 4.5 is much better than Sonnet 4.5. Oh no, I just have two models left. I'm honestly stressed out right now. Here we go, it is now done. We can go back to 
the game. Okay. It loaded. We don't have errors. Let me just reload the page. The car is still speeding up. I can't move backwards. Oh no, this is not good. Okay, what is going on? Uh, it's not working. I'm pressing buttons, but it's not moving. This is not good. I promise you, I'm not pressing buttons. All right, I have no choice but to just describe that the game is not working fine. Okay, so what I wanna do is tell Opus 4.5 that the game is not really working properly and ask it if it's possible, please just read the whole thing and redesign it properly so we can play the game. Because I feel like we don't have a choice. Our only choice is to redo the whole thing so we can play the game properly. And I feel like Opus 4.5 is the best model for that. So let's just pray that this will work, okay? Let's send it. It said, the user is frustrated because the game is completely broken. <laughs> They want me to redo the whole game, good. Fix the controls, make the card physics realistic and not too fast. So looks like it understood what I'm trying to say. A few inches. Okay, so now it's done. 5174. Should be 5174. Oh no. It did not work. We got an error. Oh no. <laughs> no. No! Alright, Gemini 3 Pro, it's all up to you now. Uh, we don't have a choice but to copy this error and just paste it here and change it to Gemini 3 Pro. But you know what? What I'm gonna do is ask Gemini, can you fix this error? And then after, can you work on improving the game? Okay, so I do have 3D models here that I'd like to use. So we do have cars, we also have environment 3D models. And what I'm gonna do is just attach this or send this to our project. And we'll just create a new folder called models and I will send this file inside of the models. So what I'm gonna do is ask Gemini to fix the error first and then after I'll ask Gemini to fix or improve the entire game. I do have 3D models that I'd like you to use. They are inside of the assets folder slash models folder. And next up, it should have a main menu. It should have a menu to select different maps to play, to play on. And there should be a loading screen. Finally, when the race is about to start, there should be a countdown with go. This is our last prompt. Can Gemini 3 Pro fix all the problems or are we gonna be disappointed? I knew it. Unable to reach the model provider. We're having trouble connecting to the model provider. I've had this issue yesterday and I don't think this is gonna work. So I don't have other choice but to use a different model. I guess we can just use Gemini 3 Flash. This is our only option. Okay, this one is working. All right, it's finally done. Here is what Gemini 3 Flash created. Here we have a main menu with need for speed title, need your speed. And also we have a background image, so that is nice. I mean, I'm not really surprised because Gemini 3 likes to use images. We don't have much, we just have a start race button. So let's click that. And here we have a select track menu. We can select a different map. We have different maps like Neon City, Mountain Pass, and Coastal Highway. Okay, let's just choose Coastal Highway. Let's see what it looks. Okay. All right. I mean, this doesn't look like a Coastal Highway. I think it's missing a lot of textures. The 3D models don't have textures. And the car is not centered. I also like the fact that we have this blue wall showing that you can't go past it, which is very similar to what you see in the NFS game. So yeah, there's not much else to say other than the textures need fixing. I'm just a bit disappointed that the previous models were not able to start a project with a working vehicle, but you know what, it was hella funny. Seeing all those bugs made me realize that most LMs are still not good at making video games using JavaScript. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me try and make a video game using game engines like Unity. Anyway please like this video and subscribe we are almost at 20k and we can start this year with a massive achievement thanks guys see you in the next one bye